In this video, let's talk about what you should have on your walls. I really like the idea of having a whiteboard like this. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. And as large as possible for your work area. And what I like about it is that you can plan out project plans, you can map out new ideas, you can have notes for yourself, it can act as your to-do list. And it just sometimes, honestly, feels good to map things out on a board like this and you can kind of see a project come together and you can plan out all the moving parts of a complex complex project maybe a whole month plan a weekly plan you really you can use have a lot of uses for it now around your whiteboard what you can have are inspiring posters or images of where you want your work to get you do you want more freedom do you want more time with family do you want something like that well that's where you want to put a photo of your family or maybe some next destination you want to get to for your travel, but then you need to make the money. You need to get your business going, right? So then you put that destination, travel destination photo printed out, maybe not next to, but somewhere around the walls of your work area where it doesn't interfere, but on the one hand enhances how your work area looks like so it should be aesthetically pleasing it shouldn't be just anything but at the same time adds inspiration and motivation to your work area because work can get very monotonous and that visual source for inspiration can be a fantastic balance between the organization of the whiteboard and inspiring posters and images of where you want your work to lead you which will push you to work harder every day. Especially in goal setting, it's commonly recommended that you surround yourself with visuals of your goals and what they mean to you. So the walls around you are a fantastic place to accomplish that.